how to diagnose this vehicle which you can see that there is no P so the client says this system is not able to communicate with any diagnosing machine so let me see why because normally to communicate with diagnosing machine the system has to scan the vein and the vein is from the PCM so if it's not able to identify most of the veins the control uh, the system use mode 9 to get the vein from the ECU so if the vein is not being or if the ECU is not communicating with the vehicle you will not be able to communicate with the vehicle so what I'll do now is um, it looks like I'll not be able to communicate with the vehicle automatically so let me do it select by let me do the manual selection so that I can get access to it so this vehicle is Hyundai Sonata I think it's 2016-2017 model let me do it US and Sonata so I think it will be let me try this one and see the years yes so 16-17 uh, the same system so let me it's 2.4 uh, GDI let me run a quick scan my battery voltage so I have to check uh, sorry I've not connected my power supply yet whilst it is scanning so let me set my power supply up although it is connected the power supply is running but I've not set it up, so let me set it up to programming. I want 13 volts, so okay, and start. So now the battery is around 10 volts, it has jumped to 13.5 volts. So now I'm getting power supply to this vehicle. And let me come and check my diagnosing machine. Let me fix it, let me position it properly. So when I check my diagnosing machine voltage, now it has gone to 13.5. So let me go to O2 scan and scan it. So now I'm scanning it to see the number of modules I'll be able to communicate with it. So if I'm not able to communicate with any module, then I know what to do plan area of attacking this problem so it looks like I'm able to communicate with some of the modules but not all of them so the modules that are not responding is the engine and the transmission but the ABS is sorry is it so go back so I think I'm able to communicate with some of the modules and I'm not able to communicate with some. But for the ABS, the ones, I'm able to communicate with them. Because mm. when you check all these ones, I'm able to communicate with them. You see the faults in them. Because I'm not able to communicate with the PCM. Can't time out, can't time out, can't time out. Let me check the CAN system. So normally when it is a CAN, I advise you to check the CAN. So what I'm going to do is I have to So when I checked my wiring diagram, this is the ECU which I've not disconnected, the ignition is on. So my wiring diagram tells me that these pins are the can high. Hey, you can see the voltage I'm getting on it. Let me check the other one and I'm not getting any voltage. So let me see if Okay, so these are the two pins, which is 77 and I think 69. So, so both uh, one is high. Okay, so I'm having can here, wow, and I'm not having a, a can communication here. So let me check this can. Let me set my scope. You can see I'm having the can communication here, and I'm not having any voltage on the brown one. So let me set my can communication. So let me click on, I think this one you can click on um, one of the functions 
yes you can click on function and it changes it to ac then you click on it again then it changes it to scope so scope let me reduce my time base let me reduce my voltage so that i can see the calm communication okay so i can see that i'm getting something some communication some form of communication on one line and on the second one i'm not getting anything it is zero so let me test this white one okay on this okay so that means i'm not getting any communication on the brown one so let me come here so the wiring diagram tells me that this is ec 12 hey sorry ec 11 so let me check if i can find my can high my can low here no so this ones are not my can lines so let me check for the next yes so i think it will be this one hey, which one i have another brown and white in here It's not that. Let me move to the net. It's not that. So with this now, I know I'm having my can high in this with these two wires. Which one? The white one is the one that we used to have ground on it, and you can see my ground is now working. And the brown one has no ground. So the brown one is can low, and it has no is zero and when you check it here also it is zero so what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for can low either i don't know if if all of them are on the same wire i'll search for can low on that spot and see if i'll be able to identify any can low then i'll jump it from here to there so that i can i can see if my device will be able to communicate so let me search for the can can lines. I know this diagnosing port has can lines. So let me search for which of them is can low. So this this first pin is can high. And I think this one will be can low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump power for, uh, can low from here to the control board and see if it will work. Then I'll know what to do. I'll start tracing to find where the negative, so where the wire goes to. So what I've done now is I've tried to <laughs> jump the, the line to this one and you can see the horrible message. So now what I have to do is I have to start tracing from here to see why that can line is bad. So I'll take this socket off, I'll turn the vehicle off, take off the battery terminal and turn it off. Then I'll trace and see why this thing or uh, why I have to start tracing because it looks like there is a break here so I'll take the battery off one terminal off disconnect this turn the system on then test and see if I'll get a correct ground over uh, sorry a correct can line over there so the moment I removed you can see the green green thing in it and in this and the system tells me that this is the EC 11 so now let me test from here and see if the line comes here and i'll know that the break the line doesn't come here then i have to trace it downwards to see where the issue is so after taking it off now i test this one and that's can high and let me test the other one and see if we'll be able to see it let me test focus this pin and see if I'll get any kind of signal and that's zero. That's zero. It's even reading negative. Why is it reading negative? Then that means there is a ground shortage in this because it's reading negative. So let me switch my let me switch my test lead and test it again and see it is zero so after a further search after disconnecting and checking I found out that some of the can lines which is the twisted brown and white base goes to this junction and for my wiring diagram it tells me that EE1 is this 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 socket over there the socket over there 
and that socket has a wire that goes around the bumper so let me go down so that you can see and it goes around the bumper and from that side it comes here so this is where this is where the can connector is supposed to be but you can see it has been cut off and the wires have been joined and it's supposed to be three not two so what i'm going to do is i have to peel it and find for the last one then i have to disconnect it and see if it will affect my can line here so i'm coming to fix everything back then i'll disconnect it down there and see if it will affect my can line they are discarded the other maybe they fix make some wires so i'll do that and see what will be the results so i have to connect this one to it and it is measuring this is the voltage that is measuring which is can high so what i'll do is i have to disconnect the socket here the socket that i'm holding now I have to disconnect it and see if this voltage goes away. So now I'm just connecting it to see if the voltage goes away. Goes away. No. Let me see. Yes, my voltage goes away. So that's the socket that I'm still searching for. So I'll connect it and check the ground and see why I'm having that issue. So let me plug in this one also and see. Okay, so now it's zero. So it tells me that the brown one that I plug in back is zero. So it tells me that the issue is on that line. Do you get me? The issue is on that line. So I'll plug it back in to check the issue. Check the both when I plug it back in. the voltage changes the the brown one goes to 0 0.1 and the white one goes to normal can line so what i'll do is i've seen where the connector is so i'll check it over there and see if i'll have any issue or there will be any change so now so now that the voltage is up let me switch it to the brown one and let me go and cut the wire and see if the voltage will go to zero zero. The voltage goes to zero zero. Then that means I found a solution and I have to find a way to work it out. So I'm cutting this wire. Cutting one of the wires. So now that I've cut the wire and the board is reading zero zero, but when I move to the white one, I'll get a can high voltage on it. And I move to the white one. I'll get a can high voltage on it. But when I come to the brown one, I'll not get any meaningful voltage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check it from there and see the wire that they join, which is causing the can line to go down. So I'll check it. So after redoing Rejoining the wire down here. Rejoining the brown wire that I I put. So this is the white one. And the brown one is over there. So I've rejoined it. The moment I did 
the reconnection uh, you can see now i'm having cam low let me change it to scope and see so with the scope let me turn on yes so you can see there is scan communication but this scan communication is a, a bit bad it's really bad so let me do one or two things and and check it after fixing my after fixing my PCM connector properly it wasn't fixed properly so after fixing it properly now the can line is stable and it's from this side so when I plug it in the white one you see the vo the can high you see the can high you see the can high let me do it from here so there is the can high and there is the can low you can see now I'm having the can low and now it looks like the can high is having an issue okay so now the can high is working so I'll redo that connection also then try and start the vehicle and see so you can see now PCM is being I'm able to communicate with it and my P is on I think now we should start okay so let me finish everything then fix everything properly and check why it is not starting so now the four gauge is working properly and it has only two bar so now my P is back that is the main issue why the customer brought the car to me then after that the other electrical issue I'll speak to him about it so that we can work on them if he wants me to work on them he brought it purposely for the miscommunication he says sometimes it's an intermittent issue so sometimes it comes on and it doesn't come so with this I'll do the wire retape them properly put his shrink on them so that I'll be able to I'll put his shrink on them so that I'll be uh, there will not be any death going there to corrode it or anything so that I can enjoy his car but for now I'm able to communicate with the PCM and I can go to exit and now allow the scan to, to do auto scan to search for the PCM so let me try it and see and call it a fix so thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos so with this one I'm able to communicate with it and you can see straight it has given us the details of the vehicle and we're able to put the vein from mode 6 eh, sorry mode 9 so sorry it's 2016 Santa Fe rather so what I'll do now is I'm done with it so now I have to make sure it starts and I don't know why the temperature sensor is behaving this way so what I'll do is um, I'll fix everything back then I'll check the fault codes in the system and see because the vehicle is not that hot for the temperature to get to that point so let's wait for it to finish scanning and let's see if we'll be able to communicate with the PCM yes we're able to communicate with the PCM transmission has no faults but the PCM has six faults in it so let it finish scanning then I'll check so all the other lights are out now so it's left with uh, some little few lights so let me try it starting it again and see you can see the immobilizer light is out so <laughs> I'll see what I can do let me check the fault codes in the system let me go to report and save this fault code I was not able to communicate with the PCM you can see MAF sensor engine coolant temperature sensor too high that's why the vehicle is not starting and fuel pressure circuit open and other ones so let me fix everything back and get back to you thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos so with this the other can issues will go off so let me fix everything and i'll call this a fix so now everything is fixed successfully and let me try and erase all the fault code you can see still the p and the mobilizer light is on and the temperature light has gone down because the ground 
wasn't fitted, so it was a ground issue. And if you check all this fourth coat, they are all high, high, and only this is slow and high and high, which means it was a ground issue. So now that I've fixed it, let me erase all the fourth coat in the system because they were pending code. So it should mean with five. After this, I'll start the vehicle and see if it will start because now I've fitted everything and the vehicle has to start. Okay, as I'm erasing it, let me try and start it. Okay, so now machine can communicate with it, so at least machine will tell me what is going on or what is wrong with the system. Because I can see that uh, with normally when you're starting it, the tachometer has to raise and the tachometer is not raising. So let me allow it to be raising the fourth coat. Then it is done, so let me enter into the ECU. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. So now machines can communicate with the PCM and it's not an PCM issue. I just want to see the fourth code then. I'll know what to do from there if I have things to do. So you can see the position and other things. So I think that's why it's not starting. So let me try and erase it here <clears throat> and see if it will go off. If it doesn't go off, then I have to check why it's still on. Because the vehicle was running. And it was even running. There was no communication with the PM. So I have to check it quickly and run to class. So these ones will be for another video. We'll check it and see what's actually the problem. So I have to check the total body 5 volt reference in the ground. And I have to check that of the C2. But now I'm going to live data to see if I will see engine RPM speed. And see if I can do anything about that. The communication is really slow but it will go through so the work is so I'll do the tipping and erase everything so now let me see targeted rpm and actual rpm so let me crank the vehicle and see if rpm will be going and there is no RPM, that's why the vehicle is not starting. So let me turn it off before I bend starter. And let me check why the RPM is not going through. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. To check the fuses to see why the vehicle is not starting. And this is the location of the crank sensor. And this is supposed to be the crank sensor power and I'm not having any power the ignition is on so I'll test and you can see it changes to volt and I'm measuring to volt and on this pin I'm not measuring anything on the other side you can see I'm not measuring anything so let me check and see why it's behaving that way then I'll try and start the vehicle Connector issue because after checking the wiring diagram, all the power comes from the control board. So I removed the cover from it and pushed it in properly to fit. And let me start it <clears throat> with my jump. It's, it's a jump. I can I've set it to jump to start, so it will still support it. And now the vehicle is running perfectly. So I let it run and see if. Let me change the. Yeah, but say yes, everything is changing. That means there is full communication. So I'll let the vehicle run for a while and see if there will be any fault code. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.